Good morning, gentle peeps of the interweb nets. How are you all doing today? And I'm actually asking. I want you to answer me. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Except pretty good. Weather's still nice and mild. Sound of rain outside helped me sleep remarkably well. Unusually well for me, really. Uh, watched a bunch of things. Excuse me. I was talking. Thank you for many numbers for a bit. Um... Watch a bunch of Fantasy Star Online stuff. In fact, I fell asleep watching a guide last night. It's sort of 40 minute, 40 minute long. Everything you need to know about Fantasy Star Online 2. And it's, I was out within 15 minutes. <sighs> Been watching a bit more of it this morning though. And some streams and stuff. And still, still pretty jealous that they reach and lock the beta to North America only. But in my research this morning, I have at least discovered that uh, Sega, or rather the Fantasy Star Online North America Twitter channel thing account, uh, have in fact confirmed that they're not region locking the actual release of the game. Uh, you can you can certainly play it wherever you are in the world. There will only be North American servers at launch, which may cause an issue depending on how lag affects this game or um, latency, I should say, really. But that was good news. I have that properly, officially confirmed. You don't have to do any jumping through hoops or anything. Uh, so, Two Dog, how are you doing? You finally got into the game just after we stopped streaming last night. In fact, immediately after I stopped streaming. Must have been my stream taking up all, all, all the internet. Uh, actually, pretty hyped up because tonight at 8 pm, my time, there's going to be a concert. Oh, I've heard about that, yeah. I've only heard that mentioned a couple of times. There's like regular concerts in the I don't know whether the lobby is the right word for it but sort of main area where all the quest givers and shops and stuff are and there's actually sort of concerts when we say concert is it presumably some sort of pre-animated uh, j-pop style show with sort of avatars singing and dancing and everyone sort of gathers around and chills out and does their dance emotes that kind of thing because that is at once vastly nerdy and also kind of joyful there's a weird thing happening in Dauntless recently uh, I've got an emote that I unlocked from uh, getting the highest skill tier tree thing that you go through to with the the strikers like i maxed out the strikers did the whole mastery thing uh and it, somewhere along that path you unlock a an emote that seems like very few people have because i haven't seen many other people using it maybe they don't like it but you can sort of you take up a lotus pose you know legs crossed uh meditation pose and you sort of float in the air with little rocks bouncing around you and uh 80 of the time when i do that well i'm just waiting for a hunt to start i'm doing it in the sort of lobby town area I'll get people coming up and they do the, uh, the 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 kneeling and appreciation thing where they you know that you take a knee and head down kind of thing and worship floating blunty. I've got a few screenshots of it because it's funny. Uh, Turkey, how you doing? Paul, many numbers. Uh, Aki, hello there. Uh, I think it's just an avatar, but they will be giving out free buffs to people attending. Oh, that's nice. A little encouragement to be social. Mm. I quite like the way they do group buffs in that game, as I've been learning about this morning. Uh, the more real people you sort of party up with, whether it's be randos or, or friends, you get sort of, what are they called, try boosts? They boost a bunch of different stats like XP and things like that. So it's sort of deeply, you can, you can play a lot of it single player, as I understand it, but there are quite a few encouragements to get people to actually be social, or at least group up with real people. Uh, which is always a more rewarding experience because I, I can solo pretty much everything reasonably easy depending on which loaded I've got, got equipped up in Dauntless. Like I've soloed Heroic Plus hunts and things like that with Nary a bother. But I usually, uh, unless I'm sort of chasing a specific thing for the hunt pass or a quest, uh, I usually just sort of party up with randos, especially while doing the pursuit stuff because it's just more fun that way. So I'm glad that Fantasy Star Online 2 has a has an encouragement for 
just e even rando parties. You can even make your own guild. Right. Um, I haven't looked into the guild stuff yet. Uh, they're not called guilds. What are they called? Um, they use one of the alternate terms for it. I don't remember what it was. But yeah, i, I got to find out how that works. How do you join a guild? What's... Uh, can, can I... Can I... Uh, can you sort of chop and change guilds at will? If I sort of join a guild, I find out there are a bunch of idiots or there's only four people who are never online. Can I just easily change a guild and what the deal is there? And I have to figure all that out. Alliance. Alliance or allegiance or, yeah, something like that. Already level 14 on my seminar. Nice. Uh... I saw in a video this morning, apparently there's the level cap's like at 75. You think they'd level cap it at the standard cap, which is like 30, I think? There's a there's a cap at 30, and then you have to do specific quests to unlock and, uh, the secondary cap, and there's the tertiary cap as well. But yeah, apparently the, the beta's just like, fuck it, go for it. If you can get there, get there! I'm also interested to find out, I mean, there is crossplay, but I'm hoping it works like Dauntless does, in that you don't have to specifically transfer your character or anything, if you want to change platforms, or chop and change platforms back and forth. Um, just that's one thing I love about Dauntless. If I log into my Switch, there's, there's, no, there's no transfer process, it's just my character's there, or my shit is there. Log into the PC, it's invisible, happens. Shush, Siri, wasn't talking to you. I don't even know what you heard. Um, got one of my pets to level 28, feeding it eggs. <laughs> so there's eggs in the game, alright. Have they extended the beta because of the stuff up yesterday? Saw their excuse on Twitter. Oh, there were, there were more people than we expected. Okay, a couple of things. Number one, how is that possible? Because it's the Xbox Insider program. You have the exact numbers of the people who signed up for it. Number two, uh, it's Fantasy Star Online 2. People have been screeching for a Western release for literally seven years since it released in Japan. Pico! Jackie, thanks for the sub! Seven months. Thank you very much for your seven months worth of sub there. I do appreciate that. Let's get a little love in the chat, please, people. That's how we do around here. As well as making the lights blink. Uh, Jason, how you doing? How goes the quest to rule hell? Well, we're getting pretty close. Um, where's my... Yeah, we, we got all the base materials. So we started actually building a base. We still need to get the rarest stuff, the ancient debris, and everything that crops out from that. So that's part of the quest today. But first thing we're going to do is sort of try and get a base up to a basic survival level. So I want a farm. I want some animals. I want some storage system. I want a crafting station. I want probably an enchantment and potion station, perhaps. You know, all the all the basic survival based stuff. I just want to get established. Uh, and then we go hunting for the netherite ore. That's, that's what we're doing today. That's the plan for today. <sighs> Ready. Hello, keyboard. Thank you. No. Right, so... I hear a gas, so let's have our wits about us. Make sure we're right. I haven't done... Oh, that's the ghast. I thought my Enderman was stealing my shit, but that's the ghast damage. I haven't done much off stream. I cleared out all the stuff above me because I was just getting sick of it. Oh, I missed, I didn't do this part. How did I miss that part? Oh, well, that's fine. Um, uh, yeah, I cleared out all the stuff above me because I was starting to feel claustrophobic and I wanted a better view. And I think today we'll clear out some of these more trees here so we can get a better view of the misty realm beyond. Um, oh, and I fixed up, I fixed up the mistake we made with these move these forward a level. So I think the first thing we should do today is go get some lava 
and fill up the uh, the panels there, like we did on the other side. And then I think I might want to go collect some sand and start making some glass, because I do want to use maybe glass on the roof of this, at least for some of it. Um, and then we've got to figure out what we do with the back wall, make the storage area. Yeah, we got we got things to do. What did I say I was going to do first? Already forgotten. Um, oh, the lava. Let's go get the lava. Where are my buckets? There. I figure for animals what we might do, I should have some eggs stored up from the chicken farm in the overworld. We'll bring those across and let's try and build up a little chicken pen. If we can get at least two, we can breed them up. Alright, let's see. Hey, nailed it. Nailed it. Right, one more bucket. So I'm just I'm just eyeing off that island out there. Kind of want to do something with it. It's far enough away from anything to make a f mob farm of some kind. You know what? This is like a good spot to start our mining for the nether ore stuff. Where are we? No, we're still too high at level 32. We go still got to go deeper. There's a staircase here somewhere. I swore I had a staircase here somewhere. Here it is. Nope, that's not it. What happened to my little friendly staircase? Oh well. Um, the only other thing I did off stream was this morning I went back to the overworld and did a little bit of mining. Just ran a couple of strip mines to try and stock up some more diamonds. And I got like 10 more diamonds. Not a lot, but it should be. Should be sufficient for what we need to do. You can go crops and like you did in Skyblock. Yeah, realized that last night. We can grow crops without water they just tend to grow quite slowly and you frequently have to retill uh, and I do have that potato we got from the zombie drop so we might use those because we got plenty of lava so making baked potatoes is not a is not a, it's not a resource hungry thing uh, wait a second do I need... I thought I measured this out. Oh, I guess I need two more. Why? Huh. I thought it was spread three, it only spreads two. Can't sleep in the nether yet now. Uh... Seriously, I had a little friendly staircase around here somewhere. It was easy up and down. I don't know what to do with it. Oh, wait, here it is. Is this it? Yeah, here it is.
it's fine. I just don't want to lose the slight dimensionality we got with the dips and stuff, but I think we're fine. <laughs> Didn't work very well. this open. I'm not going to put sort of any cap or bar across the entrance way here, but we need to do something with it. And I'm thinking maybe we hang some of those new Solfi and Latins off of slabs or stairs or trapdoors. Um, where is my soul soil? Do I not have any soul soil? I must have left it back at home. Should go over here. Grab, yep, there we go, some eggs. And soul soil. Soul, soul, soul soil, there we go. Oh wait, I've got some blue torches we can take. I'll leave at least one for our collection. Uh, wait, where's all the iron? Oh, there it is. And I've been making some smooth stone. I don't know why, but just in case I needed it. I had a spare. Thank you for the follow, the destroyer. Right. So this requires nuggets and a torch, just like a normal one. Good. Where are those spare nuggets? I was expecting those to be um, flicking between each other like some recipes do with the different types of woods, but I guess it is a separate recipe because it is technically. Alright, let's make four of. Um, you got any more eggs I can take? You sure do. Thank you. and weird. Let's try it with just slabs. so bad. A little chunky, but there we go. That actually sells it slightly better, making it even chunkier. Uh, speaking of chunks, I was <laughs> back on Fantasy Star Online. Uh, I was watching a streamer 
after we stopped streaming last night. Uh, I forget what her name was. But, um, she was not doing much combat, so I watched her for like two hours and she did nothing but hover around the various menus and the lobbies and stuff and spent almost an hour straight just in the character modification screens. Uh, oh, I quite like that actually. Um, just fiddling with the character, trying to make it as thick bottom as possible. It's fucking hilarious to watch. Uh, I might actually do a few more lanterns. But yeah, the character creation in Fantasy Star Online 2 is ridiculous. There are so many sliders. There's even a separate slider uh, for the, the, the nipple angle. Kind of, kind of how how high up or low down on the on the breast the the nipple sits and, and at what angle it points at. It's pointy up or it, it's at that point I was I was reminded just how Japanese that game is. I don't know whether the male characters have a nipple angle slider as well, or it's just the female ones. Or you know what, that looks fucking awesome. I like that. That little blue pop. Yeah. Next question is, if we do it on all the pillars, does it become too much? Uh, um, that might make sense of how we cap this off, actually, instead of having that raw fence there. If we do this instead... To get a little bit accidental Japanese again, aren't we? I like it though. May I join you, world, please? You can try, but uh, don't know how much success you're going to have considering it's a single player survival local world. Uh, whoops, a daisy. And also, even if it wasn't, even if this was a server, why would I want some rando who's never come to my chat before just just join? There's no way I could trust you not to blow shit up, steal my diamonds. People are shit. You can't trust people. Play for a little Japanese-inspired music for my new thing here. Uh. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, how many of those vines do we have? Eight. Not enough to test the idea. That's interesting. Oh, there we go. Must have just been a weird hitbox thing. Okay, so it won't go any lower than that because of the stairs. Uh, that's too much. Whoa! Bloody hell! I looked at the end of it. <laughs> he cut me by surprise. Two of them angry at me. Anthony, how you doing? Right, where was I? I was being all calm. Man, I tell you, it's really easy to accidentally look at those fuckers in this environment for some reason. 
Alright, so I'm going to skip the vines, but let's see if we can get these chickens. Shall we make this the chicken coop? Yeah, why not? Um, well, if we do make this a chicken coop, and I want to use the carpet trick to get in and out, it's going to be a little bit ugly. Unless we put a piece of red carpet. No, I can't put it there, because that's not... Oh, I guess we'll just have to deal with it. Hey, two chickens. We have the bare minimum to start a farm. Three. Not bad. Wait. Oh, I have 16 more. Yay. Nice. All my numbers to you for the cheer bits. Oh, you stupid fucker. All right, we got four. Why are they trying to jump there? I wonder if it's something to do with the trapdoors. They, like most mobs, assume they're open, so they're trying to jump up on top of them. Interesting. I wonder if that could lead to them making their way on top of the fence post. Have to keep an eye on that. Alright, um, and I guess over here, I might dig this out and replace it with soil and see if we can get some potatoes growing. Now we question, wasn't there when you made the sulfide torches, how do you make them? Pretty much the same way as you make regular torches. Uh, so, coal on stick, the only difference is a little bit of salt soil on the bottom there to give it a bit of oomph. Uh, and then the lantern's pretty much the same as the regular lantern, except use a salt fire torch instead of a regular torch with the nuggets. Uh, also worth noting, they put out slightly less light than their uh, overworld equivalent. Which might be a hindrance or a handy, depending on what you're trying to do with them. Um, I do not have any regular soil, so that's a trip back home. Two stacks should be plenty. I grab the tater as well over here. Oh, a tater. Thought I had a couple. Um, we should probably find somewhere to plant some grass as well, because we're going to need seeds for the chickens. Although one does wonder if an auto farm would be a smarter idea if all I needed is seeds. I don't know if that's a project for this particular world, but. It might be a smart idea when we actually do the permanent survival nether thing. Does lighting prevent mob spawning in the nether? Nope. Uh, because the nether is filled with lava and shit, and you know, fires everywhere, they uh, basically... So I was just staring at that gas, and I'm, I'm thinking, any minute, no, no. If he fires at me, it's going to fire at my base. Right. Break the line of sight. Boink! Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, light levels are inconsequential to near the mobs. With the exception, I think, of... Damn it. God damn it, die! Ah, 
Bloody hell. And that's going to destroy some of my items because I died in a little fire pit. Thank God my pick survived. Oh wait, no! There's a glitch in the game right now. Fire actually doesn't destroy items right now. It's supposed to, but it doesn't. Hooray! Which is nice, because I was carrying quite a lot of my iron with me. <laughs> Alright, how much damage did you do to the base? Thank you, Paul. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Leave it for now. Alright, any damage to the actual base? Yes. So glad this wood doesn't burn. Oh, I'm out of the logs I need. Fine, we'll patch it up temporarily. Yeah, it might be time for that gas blocking wall. I guess I can leave that gap until I get the actual thing I need. Oh! Did manage to get a hit on that too. Quite a bit of uh, construction to lose. Oops. <laughs> Might be time for just a. Line of sight breaker. Swap this out for something less ugly, if and when we get the opportunity. Keep this relatively safe. Um, right, I need to get some more crimson stem, which I should be able to generate myself. A. Hey. extra line of sight blocker if the leaf blocks. There we go. Two birds. One mushroom. Oh, that one wasn't very 
generous. Two goddamn blocks out of it. That's more like it. can grow chunky. I didn't know that. Last time I saw this happen, I thought it's because I was growing two really, really close together. Nice. Uh, don't you need to... Yeah, I'm stripping them right now. I wanted a few regular ones as well. But yeah, I do need strip ones for that. You could always put them down and strip them later if we need them as well. Don't take. It's our um, silver anniversary, sweetie. Mm. Uh, Twenty-five month of runies. Thank you ever so much. Gem, it's right there. Is that is that what the uh, wedding anniversary is? Twenty-five of silver. I have no idea. Do appreciate that. A little bit of love in the chat, please, people, for 25 months worth of subs coming out of Janet's face right there. All right. Are we back to status quo? I think we are. Yeah, this is going to work real nice for line of sight breaker for Gus as well. <laughs> oh, I have one more. Might as well use it. farmland situation. Had to Google it. <laughs> Just a can of chicken a can of chicken salad. Wait, what? Canned salad? That doesn't sound right. Can of salad. Sounds like something straight out of Fallout or something. Did you not mean soup? Not actually salad, just ground up chicken and a few other things. Oh, right, so it's a. Uh, Like a, like a sandwich spread kind of deal. Some sort of, um, some sort of cold, uh, casserole. Where's my potato gun? Oh, I put it away. I'll plant a few seeds at the back here. See how quickly that dries out. But once you plant them, they shouldn't pop out again. wind up doing once we get enough potatoes is like do a back row of wheat just for the sake of the chickens and use the two front rows for potatoes and or beetroot or whatever we get I 
again. This is just kind of proof of concept base. Seriously, where did I put that potato? There it is. Um, the real survival base may not even follow these sort of basic design ideas I'm doing. Just experiment and see how practical any of this is at this point. Actually, come to think of it, we have bone meal, so why not? Quick. Uh, I wonder if I can offhand this. Can we? Can we do it like this? Can we go? Don't do it. We can. No, we can't. There we go. Yeah, there we go. You need to go double uh, right click. You go hoe plant, hoe plant, hoe plant. Yeah, that, that makes life easy. We can we can handle that. Um, I wonder if a sulfide torch or two would be in order. Or is that too much? Ah, it's too much. The change to nether. Tia? Yeah, they're in the process of changing it. This is the first snapshot with the new nether features in, including a bunch of new materials, uh, including wood that can't burn away. It does occasionally catch on fire, but it doesn't burn, as in it doesn't get destroyed by fire. And just close that to keep the mobs out. All right, so we have a little farm going. We have our chickens going. Uh, yeah, so at least you plant the rest of those. That's our food after all. Right, next thing I want to do. Put some sort of storage near the farms, so I'm not running back and forth all the time. And uh, how do you make those barrels again? I need slabs. One of those recipes I always forget. It's going to ruin my lovely visual continuity too much. No, I actually quite like that. Breaks it up just a little bit. And the colour of the warm wood kind of meshes with this a little bit. Yeah. Alright, hoe goes in, seeds go in. Actually, no. no seeds come out. Seeds can go in here for breeding the chicks. Alright, now then, uh, let's put some stuff away. The next task is to go get a bunch of sand for glass making. Here's a question. Do I not have any soul sand? I would like for them to change it so you can make soul sand into glass. If they're trying to make the nether more survivable in its own right. Let's 
see, mini cans of tuna salad, salt crackers for lunch. Yeah, we don't really call that salad. Australia. It's normally called spread or dip or something along those lines, but not salad. Or is it nighttime outside? All right. Now then, we have to go for, oh wait, oh no, we can get some sand. Don't even have to go looking, there's a beach nearby. Right behind us. Right, better go. So there's a coop around here just a second ago. Oh, there he is. Good? Not good. Oh no, there's a patrol. Why is there a patrol? I just want to collect sand. Which way are you going? Moving away or coming towards? I can't even tell. I just stopped. Go patrol! That's not patrolling, that's loitering. Hopefully we'll be safe. Yeah, I, I really miss that uh, that C button Optifine zoom in shortcut. It's one of the it's one of the things from Optifine I get used to the quickest, just being able to tap C to zoom in on stuff. Not only is it kind of handy for me personally, but it's also real nice as a streamer, being able to focus in on what I'm trying to get you guys to see. Because you may very well be watching on a smaller screen than I'm playing on, so. Even though I can see details there for those flowers, maybe you can't. Because I'm playing in 1440p and maybe you're watching on a 720p mobile phone screen or something. So being able to tap Z to zoom in is a real handy tool as a streamer. I have already tapped it more than a few times, that little C button, uh, during this very last few days of this world. I haven't always called myself out on it, but unbeknownst to you, I've tried to zoom in many times. Watching on laptop? Yeah, even on laptop, even full screen on laptop, you might not see the detail I'm seeing because of compression and whatnot. I think four or five stacks should be more than enough glass. Although, if we're going to do the roof, we might need a bit more. Can you do glass in a blast furnace? I do need at least one blast furnace, so we should try. I don't think you can. PC 15 inch GTV 10 BP, so to detail. Nice. No, Cisco codes. Ah, oh, presumably that's no to my blast furnace question, yeah. Kind of thought that was the case.
vicinity of movement on the right. Oh, nope, there they are. They're still hanging about. I just saw a move in the grass just above my crosshair there. Again, this is where the zoom would be real handy. But that patrol is still hanging about. It's weird that you can't make glass in a blast furnace, though, because in real life, that's kind of literally what it takes to melt glass. They do it in big fucking blast kilns. Five to seven of them, possibly. Oh, the patrol? Oh, yeah. Uh, there's, there's at least six of them. Counted six as I was coming across. I wonder if it's the same patrol that has been hassling me for the last couple of days, or I just keep respawning new ones. Yeah, that should do. If that's not enough, we can come back. Watched a video of someone uh, walking on crushed wine bottle glass. Hearing the glass crush was oddly satisfying. Was it a ASMR style video? Or some sort of weird fetish thing? Or some science thing? It could be all of the above. fuck did he get in my home? I wonder if he came up the stairs. Home invader. Actually, this area here is probably a little bit dark. Oh yeah, there we go, we had a seven, so there we go, that's where he was. We got a six block right there. See what I mean about these torches? If that was a regular torch, that wouldn't mean dark. Actually, let's double check that. Literally check it. Uh, yeah, there we go. Ten light level. So the blue torches are significantly dimmer. Let's get some glass backing. No trouble, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, bass, bass. Totally addicted to bass. The axe is the smart way to do this. I was using the sword before and smashing all of them. The axe is a precision murder tool. Uh, I'm not carrying those seats on me anymore, am I? Did I take? I took all the seeds, didn't I? All right. I'm going to have to stick around in the overworld for a little bit, because if I go back to the nether, that glass won't keep cooking. I suppose I could just build some more furnaces in the nether, cook it there. That might be the smarter way to do it. As long as we're getting ever more self-reliant in there. Do, 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 
Why do I keep opening the wrong chest? I don't know why. I'll take those eggs back with us and see if we can make some more chickens over there. And we'll snatch that so we can cook it. Alright, how about fuel? We don't have a lot of fuel left. Take some oak with us so we can make some charcoal there. Um, yeah, let's go set up some furnaces. Uh, of course, yeah, I could just use lava for fuel. Uh, thank you very much. I like the base, base, biscuit base. I like the buttery biscuit base. I like the base. I like the buttery base. I like the buttery biscuit base. Thank you very much, base master monster. Sorry, I rushed back inside there because I thought I saw a ghast out of the corner of my eye, but I think I just caught a glimpse of the pale colour here or something. A panic mode. Alright, so if this is going to be a storage area on this side, it would make sense to set up a furnaces here. And if we set them up against this lava wall, it would be kind of cool, I think. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right, we're on odds, which makes that our center. Why can't I? Oh, cause. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if it would make an amount. Oh, there goes that forever. Can I have that back? No. Oh. Didn't burn, it just went away. Do these float? No. Right, what I was trying to say is, I wonder if sort of insetting them like that is a good idea. I think I like it. I don't think I'll go up a level. I kind of like seeing as much as that lava as possible, so I think we just might put another one on the other side. Should give us more than enough. Actually, no, 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 no. What I might do is put a blast furnace on either side. Or maybe a blast furnace and a smoker. Right, how do we make a blast furnace again? You know what? We need a crafting table over here. Uh, the London Cheese said, hello there. I feel like it's been a while since I've seen you and Jen. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Uh, that's not a crafting table. Uh, what's the recipe for Blast Furnace again? Excuse me? Why won't it come up? That's weird. All right, let's see if I can remember. It's a regular furnace. 
I think with cobble around it? Look at that. No, that's not right. Is it iron? Still not there. No? Huh. I've forgotten how to make a blast furnace. Uh, actually, while we're trying to figure that out, let's grab... So let's actually plant some of these trees so I've got some wood happening. Uh, this should do. Actually, you know what? Can I plant these direct? No, I sure can't. Yeah, help chat. I can't for the life of me remember how to make a blast furnish. Three stone blocks and two iron, question mark. Have you seen birds of prey? I have seen birds of prey. It's shite. Three, oh, smooth stone. Five iron, right. It, well, fortunately, I did actually cook up some smooth stone. Yeah, I remember now. As soon as you said smooth stone, it snapped into my place. Did I leave any iron behind by any chance? We should take that gold with us. Same way it's not come up in the recipe book. No. What? Wrong. I gotta Google this. I'm confused. Blast Furnace Minecraft. Uh, oh, hang on a sec. It's the other form of smooth stone. It's not stone, it's, it's, it's... Oh, I think we need a stone cutter to make it, don't we? It's... Wait, what? Why have I forgotten everything I ever knew about Minecraft? Do we need to bake this again? That's what it is, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. I keep forgetting they separated those fucking things. I always forget the dumbest, fucking stupidest low level stuff. Any bit in Suicide Squad? No, not really. They are bad movies in slightly different ways. I think I would rather re-watch Suicide Squad than I would re-watch Birds of Prey though. Which tells you something. Um, oh for fuck's sake, there must be something I don't need to get through. There it is. Finally, fucking dumbass. Um, <sighs> Inventory! What about the smoker? How do I make the smoker? Smoker is... I think I need logs, not these. Yeah. And I have exactly zero logs. Fine! Fine game, just fine. You 
You do your thing, I'll do my thing. Christ almighty. Fucking eggs, piss off eggs. We always have more eggs. What's the inventory management in Fantasy Star Online like? I haven't heard anyone comment on that yet, but there must be some sort of inventory management because I've seen a bunch of shit dropping after battles. Am I going to screech at that as well? Hey, smoker. Sandra Kane have no distant bit spray. Yeah, if you like any of the characters that are supposedly, allegedly in Birds of Prey and Harley Quinn's Emancipation of Who Gives a Shit, uh, you're not going to like the movie. Because none of them are anything like they should be. The worst insult is probably Cassie. Second worst is probably what they did to uh, Huntress. Montoya is relatively close to some of her interpretations from the comics. But like the, the, the shittiest, least interesting version of Montoya. Um, blast furnace on this side. That way we get a bit more interesting texture here. You know what? I don't like that. I'm going to swap them. That's a bit less distracting. Coolsies. I don't know if I've got enough iron to sustain using lava as fuel. Is that the last of my iron? It is. So I can make what? Three more buckets. For a total of five. I guess we'll just stick with three buckets for now. We'll save the iron. Because we're still going to need it for something soon, I guess. Maybe. Not that hard to go get more, but still. Um, let's see, let's just go deal with what we have to deal with. Oh, ho, 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 oh. ho, oh, ho, 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 uh, let's just do something about that brand new hole. How did that happen? Do we have a ghast hit here? everything you need and you feel like you just went and got the stuff.
don't know what the context of that is, but yes, that's always annoying, I suppose. Um, oh, right, I haven't fixed this yet, have I? Right, let's see, let's see, let's see. I guess... Let's do... Buggeration. That doesn't work. Yeah. I thought I built this floor differently. So I was going to set that up a half a slab. Not a, not no, sorry, not half a slab, a slab, a half block. I'll do it like this instead. And Get some chests. Dragon say, how you doing? Didn't see you come in there, sorry, I was distracted by my thoughts. Um, how do I want to do the chest here? I might do the old... Straight up side by. Because again, not a permanent survival world. We just want to go to... A little proof of concept base happening, so we can we can waste a little more space than I would usually waste. The other alternative to doing it this way is what if what if what if? trees even going to grow? I actually generally don't know if regular trees will grow on the nether. I don't know if I've ever tried that before either. Have I no bone mill left? Not very efficient making burn a lot of saplings, is it? Let's hope I can get a one-off luck. Okay, so let's go looking for some bones. Because I need more wood. Let's 
direction, not this way. I guess I've got to always chop these trees down. But I do also want to find out whether regular trees will grow. Any plan for a roof besides glass? I'm thinking sort of a, some sort of frame, but with much of the roof as glass. I haven't quite made up my mind on that yet, which is why I haven't done it yet. Where are all the big bone fossils stuff? There's supposed to be a ton of them in the new nether. Maybe they don't appear in this environment. Looks like just. Some, I think. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we should be careful here. This is gas territory. And also deadly, deadly drop lava. I love the new sound. Take the opportunity to get more red. Uh, crimson stem while we're here as well, I guess. Yeah, the, the crimson forest is definitely my favorite looking environment. I think it's the particles that sell it. It's all spooky and red, but it's those little upwards drifting embers. I think they're officially called crimson particles, but you know, they're obviously inspired by sort of little rising embers. They just look super spooky. Look at this. Oh, hey. I wonder if that fortress is connected to the one that's near my base, which we saw one of the legs of. They're not that far away. It might be. Uh... I wonder if we can get safely down there though, because we do need some blaze rods for a potions station. Hmm, we might just get away with this. I'm carrying sand! Okay, I'll leave that there so I know that's my way out. you see a blaze? Nope, I saw a bit of glowstone. And blazes! That was a kooky fake out. Um, man, I need some nether rack. I need some nether rack. Gives it underwater vibe. Oh, the, uh, the particles? Yeah. Does a little bit, doesn't it? Right, so. Oh, shit. hell. You're a bit more aggressive than usual. Can you please come down? Oh, 
Oh, this is bad. Fine. I'll do it the hard way. Follow me! Jesus! Did they ramp these guys up? Finally. Oh, there we go. That's all I wanted. Just a lone gunman. trip back for my stuff. Oh! What the? Where? How? What the hell killed me? What plays? Shit! Where the hell did I go? Here we go. Torch. Look at me not getting lost. Aggeration. Did not go that way. There's my stuff. Looks like I got most of it back. Oh. Oh, no! No! Dumb I did hide there. Oh Christ, there's nowhere to hide. fish. Man, that was unpleasant. I 
Look at him breaking two bow. Just get a little bit organized here, please. Right. So I need one blaze rod for the potion thing, at least one for a little bit of Play spell so we can make some potions. I think we're done, right? I can go home. get a skull. Come on, buddy. We should. Are they, are they faster than usual? <laughs> he seems fast. Relatively straightforward trip to get home, right? What could possibly go wrong? They do need to make that fog transition a bit smoother. It's very distracting. Staircase. There it is. All right. Um, yeah, I don't make a fair amount of bone milk. Uh, excuse me. Where's my down? Mrs. Pummel Horse. I'd like to get down now. Hey, there's base. Uh, oh, hey, the trees do grow. Just slowly. Right then. Um, Too much gobs. Um, let's restock my arrows a little bit here. We should get that food cooking. Did so. We're 
You know what? I'm not going to make chests out of that. That's too rare. I will happily make chests. No, wait. Keep a bunch of the red stuff. Have I got... There we go. Blue stuff is usually to come by in this area. Oh, um, I guess we'll shorten it on this axis. barrels again. God damn it. This recipe book has spoiled me. What? I've already made them. Show me the recipe. stuff. Spilled me? Yeah. Yeah, Jay, okay, I'll do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and go wooden constructs in that. Um, let's include slabs and stairs, which I usually don't do, but because we're dealing with a too high sorting system here, I might as well do it that way this time. Again, not a permanent survival base, so we don't need to break too much about this. Just want to get it good enough. Let's see, now it shows up. Oh, it's right, just slabs top. Right. Right, 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 right. right. Slab top and bottom. There we go. Is there a modded recipe that makes barrel-like things with slabs across top and bottom? Is that what I was thinking of? Alright, let's face those in on this. And we'll use one of those for like tools and the other one for something else precious. Maybe the netherite stuff. Okay. I'm gonna take a quick trip back home to get some leather. So I can make some signs. Most barrels in Minecraft modded would take wood to make a large U-shaped craft table. No, that's um, not cauldron. The yeah, that's a, uh, yeah, that's a collection barrel, not the type of mini storage barrel I was thinking of. But yeah, I know what you're talking about. All right, I'll also take this. Let's 
take that, take the leather and the diamonds, take the sticks. not enough leather. out there. Yeah, I'm thinking we should maybe try and get some cows from the local area out there and bring them through. And we'll have steak and leather. Precious materials in that one. Alright, how many can we make with just this much leather? I know, that's a pretty good start actually. We're only one shot of what I actually needed. Alright, so let's make. So, wood, wood, stone, stone. We'll go sand, and gravel, and glass in that one. We'll go ahead and melt that down. Perhaps in a furnace that has fuel in it. All of these are out. What do I do with the fuel? Whatever. Um, let's get tools and shit in there as well. Slightly nervous having the storage exposed like this. Because if a ghast blows it up, a bit of an issue. Uh, we'll just make that one kind of the general nethery stuff. Okay, let's go. Precious, precious. drops in this one. And middle. And 
guess that leaves us with this one as bio. And what about fuel? Maybe I put a sink a barrel there for fuel or something. Maybe in front of that one. Trying to get the little knob bit at the front. Why won't you do it? It won't reorient. Why won't you reorient? Screw you then. that happen? There we go. Alright, spare fuel. You could build a firewall to catch new tanks. Yeah, there's, there's going to be a back wall to that thing. I just haven't built it yet. I'm kind of doing this a little bit out of order than I probably should do it, but it's fine. What could possibly go wrong? Food in mob drops as well. Tools and wood marine precious. Glass. That's flint, not fuel. Um. Uh, I guess bone blocks count as a mob drop, kind of. Nether crap. Um, put soil in with the sand, I suppose. Actually, while we're here, I do need an example for the sign. Let's go with. for stone. sand. 
Um, all non-stemmy nethery stuff in there. Stone for you. Wood for you. There we go. Uh, we still need another bit of leather. And we need to mark these ones. We'll use something not super precious. Obsidian block cast attack, sure can. This is something new, does a better job. Um, the new netherite staff has the same blast resistance. I'm not actually sure about basalt. Good idea for the back wall. Make it out of basalt. It is one of the new materials, and that's kind of the point of this to start experimenting with those. But I'm not sure about its blast resistance. Man, tree farms and nether are not going to be <laughs> not going to be very efficient, are they? Wait on the composter. We'll set it up with some hoppers if we get more iron. Alright, quick trip back to the overworld to bring some more resources back. I know what I think about actually moving this portal. Alright, let's see. What's important? Food, sugar. Ooh. There's a thought. We can grow regular crops in the nether without water. Sugar cane is an issue. That needs water, otherwise it won't plant. Quite a lot actually. I'm digging it. You're doing lots of interesting things. And you know me, I always like to learn new stuff as well. Okay, uh, that goes there. Right, 
Where am I going to put shit like wool? I guess it'll go in with glass for now. Today while watching Clone Wars, which I'm rapidly approaching the end of season five. Are oh, you burning through that? Hard to put down, isn't it? Did you uh, just mess around in survival, or I mean in, in creative, or did you do survival like we are here? Take a real feel for it. Uh, let's take one of those flints with me. No point leaving that behind. All that. Definitely take that with us. all the important stuff. Dug about 150 blocks out to get there. Wait, uh, doing survival was digging a tunnel to nearby what forest? Yeah. There's some weird generation stuff going on with the terrain still. First day we tried the survival challenge, I just got the most enormous soul sand valley you could imagine it was for all practical purposes endless couldn't escape it to continue our survival series i wound up having to uh, bring in a donor nether from a different save file that i created just so we can keep playing because i could not escape the 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 soul valley it was immense Um, let's see, I think over here, do what we might do what we might do so I'm trying to think about where I want to put the enchantment table versus potions the enchantment table. Seriously. Could have sworn I put it in here. I did. Idiot. I had two spare before. I was going to say, how did I end up with two more books than I started with, but I didn't. Uh, let's see here. If we go one, two, three, four, five across there.
Let's go. Set up a little corner here. That way we can put the potion up against this wall. of something here. Um, actually, what we can put here is like a chest or a barrel where we can store lappy and books to enchant if we run out of enchantment chances just trying to do something else. And chest or barrel? Chest. Chest feels more magical, right? You never pull a magical item out of a a wine barrel. It's always out of some creaky old chest. Alright, so we do have our level 30 enchantments capable, which is nice, but of course I don't have the levels because I've died too many times today. Right, uh, potions, potions, potions. How do you make the blue torches? You make those with a new material, which I can't find any of right now. It's called soul soil. Uh, or is it? There we go. Soul soil. Find that in the, in the valleys. And if you make a regular torch, Regular torch recipe, but put soul soil on the bottom. I don't know whether this is shaped or not. It probably is. But yeah, you pop soul soil down there and you can make blue torches. And with those blue torches, you can also make a new type of lantern, which shines nice and blue. Soul fire torch, regular lantern recipe. And you make these little buggers, which the lantern was already my new favorite lighting source, but the blue ones are my new, new favorite because they just look kind of awesome. Do you notice that they're not animated? I don't remember whether the default lanterns are animated or not, but they are slightly animated in the texture pack I usually use. So maybe it's just me not remembering properly. Um, I don't have nearly enough iron for an anvil, do I? No, not even close. I'm just gonna put an anvil next to this. Do right, mob drops those and is it stone? No, not a chant. Wait, how do you make a potion stand again? Brewing stand is what it's called, damn it. Uh, oh, it's cobble, not stone. Okay, one of those. Crush that down into some fuel. Um, what are we going to sit it on top of? I think... Set the potions down on top of a barrel. Right. Or shall we orientate that the other way? That way's better. Cool. Maybe a armor stand in the middle there, just to spice up that corner. And maybe swap these out for a different wood to make it stand out like this little... Actually, no, carpet. Carpet, 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 carpet. Carpet, carpet, what 
Oh, look at the carpets. Gray. Not enough to make carpet out of, of course. Alternatively, no, let's try Dark Oak Side, beautiful. Why do you like stone so much? What do you mean? no stone in this build. Yeah. Oh. A thought occurs. I wonder if that's going to catch. It's pretty close to that lava. I haven't seen these ignite yet. I've seen this block ignite. And if that happens, it may spread to this. I guess we'll see what happens. Not, I mean, worst case scenario, that catches, that catches, which is fine to that. But we have to learn somehow, I guess. Um, sticks. Slab. Where's armor stand? Why do the re fucking recipes not show up half the time? How do you make a bloody armor stand again? Make a grindstone while we're here, though. And actually, I might do the same thing I did with the brewing stand, just to make our crafting stations stick out a bit. February 12th, I know it's only four days, but the hype is real. Wait, what's what's February? I mean, what's February 12th? Um, should we stick it right down or should we try and make an all in one crafting station? <laughs> I'm gonna do it like that. Let's get a bit of symmetry by all the way around. I said other way around. Oh, break time. Stick, 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 blank, stick, blank, stick, slab, stick, what? Let me see if I can do this. Stick, 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 blank, stick, blank, slab, stick. <laughs> stick, stick, stick. Oh wait, blank, stick, there we go, like that. Stick, 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 blank, stick, blank, stick, slab, stick. Is that supposed to be armor stand? Stick, 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 blank, stick, blank. 
Stick, 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 blank, stick, blank. Stick, slab, stick. Googling it. Actually, that is the recipe. I don't know what's not working. Maybe it needs a smooth stone slab. Of which I have none. Apparently you can't make smooth stone in a blast furnace, which is annoying. Was it? Stick, 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 stick. Uh, oh bloody, I gotta make the slabs first. Idiot. Slabs. There it is. So yeah, it was the it was the stone versus smooth stone thing again. It keeps catching me out since I changed that. Shall we put it right in the corner, or I think just on this bit here? Yeah, that'll work. Still need more leather for a suit of armor for him. Either that, and we could aggro some pigmen. Let's see if they can get them to drop their gold to make. Uh, yeah, we could probably do something here. smart this is. Come on. Just die so I can aggro a pigman. safe here, right? <laughs> yep, I'm fine. Hey! Just did the doctor order. Somewhere some army can possibly drop. Why did it unlock a recipe then? What did I just... Oh, must have got a nugget from his own from that pigman. Top of me. There he is. Are you mad? He's mad. <laughs> he was playing it chill, but he's mad. What about you? Are you mad? He's mad. A sword. Oh, but we're in Java, so we can't make the armor stand hold the sword, can we? We can always melt it down. Oh, it's got smite three though. We can melt it down for another nugget at least. Yeah, I don't think this is the best way to get gold to make a gold helmet. It's gonna take a bit while. 
worth a shot. I was hoping for better spawns. Right, meanwhile though, I gotta put that blaze powder where it'll be useful. While we're at it, uh, a little bit of redstone. A bit of gunpowder. What else is useful in those potions? Not iron. Although that doesn't belong there. Cast here. Spider's eye. Okay, let me dig up and then I'm going to take a break. that chicken I was cooking. There we go. Alright, I think next stage of the project will be to build an actual safe room so I can have somewhere to AFK and or take a break. In which we should put the portal as well. Alright, I'm going to be back in just a couple minutes, guys. Have a stretch. Get a fresh coffee or something. Whatever you need to do. I'm going to have a good stretch. That feels great. BRBs!